Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each of the different hint types or categories and try to demonstrate them in action. Note that I do not actually have a large enough database to show any difference using some of the hints. But we'll make an attempt. So here I have a pre-prepared script and all the different hints that influence the optimizer. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go into my system user and look up the parameters in the parameter file that these hints are attempting to override or suggest to the optimizer that something should be changed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this command. I'm going to read these parameters. As you can see, cursor sharing is set to force. Optimizer mode is set to choose, which will force the optimizer to choose between rule-based or cost-based, which in the instance where statistics exist, in my case, statistics always do exist, so the optimizer mode will generally always be cost-based. Optimizer dynamic sampling is set to 1. The optimizer dynamic sampling parameter is defaulted to 1. In Oracle 10G it's defaulted to 2. Generally what it does is set between 0 for off and then 1 to 10. 1 will read a small portion or small sample of a table or index and 10 will read all the blocks. So let's go back to my sample file. First of all, I'm going to use auto trace to start with. So I set auto trace on with trace only and explain plan. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a query that retrieves a single row from a small table and then I'm going to try to force or persuade the optimizer to read the whole table. Going into here, as you can see, nothing happens because the optimizer thinks that it's a really dumb idea and it's correct. Using first rows, I can try to persuade the optimizer to assume that it's only reading a single row from this table. So this is actually a full table scan reading the entire category table. And I'm going to paste this one in. And as you can see here, the optimizer thinks that the cost will actually be different. But the problem is, is that the table will be read in full anyway, and the chances are the first query without the hint is probably the more effective or the closer estimate of cost, because it's going to read the full table anyway. But as you can see, that's first rows, one row in action. Going back to my script, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my simulation user and read a table with well over a million rows. And here, the actual query plan without the hint gives a cost of over 3,000. In this case, the optimizer will assume by the first row's hint that only the first row is being read, which is actually rubbish because I'm reading the entire table. But as you can see, the cost has decreased substantially. But this is giving an erroneous picture. That's the point. Using the rule hint, going back to my concerts user, all it's doing is basically using rule-based optimization and switching off access to statistics. As you can see, I have absolutely no numbers here. So it's using the rule-based optimization approach.